Well, it took days to set up and only had one chance to get it right coming up on flashback tonight, the day a jumbo jet crash was staged in the southern suburbs. It was estimated 10,000 people rocked up to, to see it. I was one of them. Story behind the movie Magic and the pandemonium at Pasadena coming up a little later on flashback. On the it was described as pandemonium at Pasadena. Up next on flashback, the spectacular jumbo jet crash staged in the southern suburbs. What it took to create movie magic. And why Hugh Jackman... Gold Coast. Well, it was described as pandemonium at Pasadena, but it was all in the name of entertainment. On flashback tonight, how a jumbo jet crash was staged in Adelaide's southern suburbs for a horror movie. Good evening, Mr. Rogan. Good evening. Two scenes, is it? It began as an ordinary flight, a fully packed jumbo making a smooth takeoff. B1. Your take. Until a sudden explosive decompression and a terrifying crash landing at Pasadena. I always wondered what would have happened in Adelaide that night if there had been a real a real emergency. Yeah, it was a mammoth production. Stuntman Dean Bennett had a front row seat to the pyrotechnics. He just won the Young Filmmakers Festival and after showing his film to the movie's director was invited on set. For the next eight weeks I just ran around with a Super 8 camera shooting behind the scenes footage and helping out with the smoke here and there. The movie was called The Survivor. James Herbert's frightening novel of supernatural power is now a movie. The spectacular crash was staged opposite the Pasadena shopping centre in what was then an open paddock. It was estimated 10,000 people rocked up to, to see it. The special effects were the work of Chris Murray, who'd just worked on Mad Max. He spent a good couple of days digging trenches, filling with gasoline and uh, petrol bombs. They all had to go off in one take. It took five cameras to capture the drama, with huge support from police, St John and the CFS. The jumbo was brought to Pasadena after being built on the other side of town. The plane was built in a factory down at Elizabeth, which also doubled for the air investigation scenes. It starred Robert Powell and Jenny Agata with an unusual cameo. We don't yet know what caused it, we don't know if there's anybody, anybody come through this one. That's famed lyricist Tim Rice playing the TV reporter. He happened to be in town and was a friend of the director, David Hemmings. David talked him into hopping out of a 5AA helicopter and uh, playing the reporter, which I think he did really, really naturally and well. The pilot is haunted by the guilt of his survivor. I think I'm going mad. Pasadena's night of terror made headlines. Looking at the area now, you'd have no idea what happened here. These days, the crash scene is home to a Lutheran church and retirement village. Although Dean says one resident did have a scare. One of the elderly residents was digging in her back garden and dug up part of one of these bodies that was left over. A horror sequel narrowly averted. There should be a plaque there, shouldn't there? Yeah, Survivor was filmed here. There's a reason they call...